Danisha, Hi. how you doing? I'm good, hey. how are you? Listen, congratulations on winning the title as Miss Freshman. <laughs> so listen, uh, before we get into the questions in, the, in this interview, uh, I'm gonna play a little game. Okay. You know, a little game just to loosen up just a little bit. Okay. Uh, you have 10 seconds. Okay. Give me 10 HBCUs outside of the state of Florida. Your timer starts now. Dillard, Howard, Spelman, Morehouse, Kentucky State, Bowie State, Norfolk, Texas Southern, Texas A&M, Southern University. Okay, right on time. <laughs> I like that, I like that, I like that. So for people who don't know you, uh, who is uh, Danisha McFadden? Um, Danisha McFadden is the voice for the voiceless. She's very humble, she's very inspiring. Um, she's poised, but she's still that Southern country girl deep down inside. Um, and like I said, just the biggest thing, I am the voice for the voiceless. So people who aren't, you know, who aren't blessed with the courage to speak out about mental health in the black community, I wanna, you know, take on that courage and be, the, be their voice for them. Uh, tell me, what is something that you're most passionate about? Something that I'm most passionate about is just loving just loving people. I feel like in the society and the climate that we're in now, people are so, so slow to love. And I feel as if, if people can hate you for no reason, why can't I love you for no reason, you know? So I just, that's my biggest thing, just sharing love and just overwhelming people with love. Good answer, I like that, <laughs> I like you. that, I like that. So tell me, um, who, who inspires you the most? Who inspires me the most is Jesus, actually. <laughs> um, Jesus just inspires me because, like, who the he's so understanding, so forgiving, so loving, so minute yet so marvelous and so massive, and he's just amazing. I just oh, child, I love him. <laughs> so tell me, why did you run for this position? I ran for this position because I wanted God to grant me with a higher platform to reach my class. Um, I believe that I still had power to, you know, reach my class and do, take initiative to do certain things throughout the school year, but I wanted a higher platform to where it'll make it a little bit easier to communicate with my class and just, you know, also show people that you can go through mental illnesses and still hold positions because a lot of times people try to take that away from people who struggle with mental illnesses. While running against your opponent, uh, was was the pressure? What was the pressure like? And did you have any doubts uh, while running? Um, speaking bluntly, I did have doubts just because the the person I was running against, she's a beautiful young lady, and she has a, a massive following um, on a lot of social platforms. And so I was like, oh man, like she knows everybody. But I just had to understand that I'm running against myself. So it was every time that I thought I did something great, it was always, okay, what, what can I do better? How can I progress? So she did amazing, and I'm so proud of her. She did a phenomenal job at um, campaigning. I'm gonna ask you this question. I've asked, you know, your peers about this too. Mm -hmm. Take me back to Friday, September 25th. You know, everyone's on the quad, playing, dancing, and stuff like that. But everyone's anticipating the results of the election. I know you were. Uh, what were your emotions like, and what was going through your head at the time? Ooh, Lordy. Um, I just knew that I wanted it so bad. And if I didn't get it, I didn't know what was going to happen after that moment. But um, I had my support team around me, my campaign team, um, Jaderica Johnson, Samaya Richardson, and like my sisters with me. And so they were just, you know, speaking life into me and just letting me know that everything was going to be okay. And, you know, it's just when you want something so bad, you just have that burning passion that you want to get it, you know. So that was pretty much going through my head. But I was very emotional because I'm a crybaby, so. <laughs> so after everything was over and they announced you as one of the new faces of BCU, uh, when did you realize that, wow, I am really Miss Freshman? It's still sinking in, honestly. Um, but I realized that I was Miss Freshman when people were coming to me with their problems. And I, you know, because I, I told my, my classmates during campaign week that whatever they, I was here to serve them. So whatever their issues were, I'm here to, you know, curate events so we can grow as a class. So when they started coming to me, I was like, wow, okay, this is really my job to be the voice for the voiceless. So, you know, the face for the faceless, stuff like that, so. Being that you're a freshman, 
Um, how are you going to start your legacy uh, here at the Bethune Cooking University? Thank you. I think that's a great question um, because a lot of people undertake us as freshmen. Uh, so I feel as if me being a freshman, I want to continue her legacy, Dr. Mary McLeod's Bethune legacy, by just instilling like our like founding things, what we're based off of, faith, integrity, respect, service, and thirst for knowledge, and just exemplifying that even you know in my dorm room or in the cafe, and then while also being Miss Freshman. So I think it, the more we instill that, the more I can continue her legacy because if you take that, you're automatically going to be great if you apply it the correct way. So. Last question before I let you go. Mm -hmm. Give me three things that you've learned since being here at Bethune Cookman in this short time span. Mm -hmm. Closed mouths don't get fed um, by any means necessary while still keeping morals, of course, and also mm, I have a couple, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say love, just love unconditionally. Don't, you know, don't be a conditional lover because that's not a true lover. So just love unconditionally. <laughs> well, Donisha, I thank you. Uh, but before uh, I really, really go, uh, <laughs> being that you're Miss Freshman, are we going to see you down the line as, uh -huh. on the Royal Court, you know, <laughs> later down the line as you continue your college career? Yes, um, there, I do have plans to continue, like throughout my matriculation through college, I do have plans to continue to serve on Royal Court. So I'm just praying that God continues to grant me positions, you know, yeah.